My name is Carrie Grace Hotower, and welcome to our contemplative service done in the spirit and music of Tizé from the Tizé community in France. I am recording this through the Episcopal Church, uh, St. Andrew's Episcopal Church in Seattle, Washington. I am a lay parishioner there. I am also joined by other parishioners, Kester Limner and Andy Myers, who have recorded um, and sung beautiful music and chants for our service today. This is the second Sunday in the Advent season. And I welcome you with me into this season of waiting and longing where we mark and ponder the coming of Jesus Christ into the world. For many of us right now in the US and around the world, we are waiting and longing for many things. Longing for safety, for a vaccine, for loved ones with us or those who have died. 
We long for justice, for peace, for a beautiful future for our planet. There is much to wait for and much to yearn for. And we have the promise that Christ is with us even in the waiting. So join me as we reflect in, on these texts and in song and in silence as we enter the presence of God together, bringing our full selves, accepting whatever is there, May we have the courage to do so. So thank you for your courage in joining us, joining me today in this sacred time. I'll open us with the words from Isaiah 40, which are also echoed in the gospel reading today. Comfort, oh comfort my people, says your God. Speak tenderly to Jerusalem and cry to her that she has served her term, that her penalty is paid, that she has received from the Lord's hand double for all her sins. A voice cries out in the wilderness, prepare the way of the Lord. Make straight in the desert a highway for our God. Every valley shall be lifted up, and every mountain and hill be made low. The uneven ground shall become level, and the rough places a plain. Then the glory of the Lord shall be revealed, and all people shall see it together. For the mouth of the Lord has spoken. Blessed be God, creator, redeemer, and spirit of love. And blessed be God's beloved community, now and forever. Grace to you and peace from God, our creator. The love at our beginning and without end. In our midst and with us now. God is with us. Here we find new life.
Let's take a few moments now to move more deeply into silence and resting in God. Living spirit, whose breath gives life to the world and whose voice is heard in a soft breeze, we need your strength and wisdom. Come breathe among us and within us. Gather us with your whole creation as together we embody the transforming love of Christ Jesus, our Redeemer. Amen. For you I'm watching, waiting, hoping. For you I'm watching, waiting, hoping. For you For you I'm watching, waiting
And now we have a reading, our appointed reading for the day. A portion from the Gospel of Mark. The beginning of the good news of Jesus Christ, the Son of God. As it is written in the prophet Isaiah, see, I am sending my messenger ahead of you, who will prepare your way. The voice of one crying out in the wilderness, prepare the way of the Lord, make his paths straight.
those we love, that they may be safe and feel deeply cared for. information that flows through our lives, that it may be truthful and helpful. Oh Lord, we pray, for justice in our economy, that we may care for the unemployed and disadvantaged. For healing for the sick and for the protection of health workers who are making great sacrifices. Oh Lord, we pray. For the bonds of family, extended family, and chosen family that we may grow closer, forgive each other, and encourage each other. Oh Lord, we pray. For peace in our spirits, that we may find rest in the promises of Christ. For the preservation of all departed souls, that you may remember them in your infinite love and bring them into life everlasting. Oh Lord, we pray. For the kingdom of God, that it may be seen on this earth in the way we care for each other. Oh Lord, we pray. At this time, I invite you to pray with me. I will be lighting these candles here. Feel free, feel free to pray with me as I light those or light your own. Pray aloud or in silence as feels um, comfortable for you. Let us make our requests known to God. And now would you pray with me the Lord's Prayer, this version from the Anglican Church in New Zealand. Eternal Spirit, earth maker, pain bearer, life giver, source of all that is and that shall be, father and mother of us all, loving God in whom is heaven. The hallowing of your name, 
echo through the universe. The way of your justice be followed by the peoples of the world. Your heavenly will be done by all created beings. Your commonwealth of peace and freedom sustain our hope and come on earth. With the bread we need for today, feed us. In the hurts we absorb from one another, forgive us. In times of temptation and test, strengthen us. From trial too great to endure, spare us. From the grip of all that is evil, free us. For you reign in the glory of the power that is love, now and forever. Amen. And I'd like to read a closing prayer for us um, about waiting and the coming of light from Jan Richardson. And it's called How the Light Comes. I cannot tell you how the light comes. What I know is that it is more ancient than imagining, that it travels across an astounding expanse to reach us, that it loves searching out what is hidden, what is lost, what is forgotten, or in peril or in pain, that it has a fondness for the body, for finding its way toward flesh, for tracing the edges of form, for shining forth through the eye, the hand, the heart. I cannot tell you how the light comes, but that it does, that it will, that it works its way into the deepest dark that enfolds you. Though it may seem long ages in coming or arrive in a shape you did not foresee. And so may we this day turn ourselves towards it. May we lift our faces to let it find us. May we bend our bodies to follow the arc it makes. May we open and open more and open still to the blessed light that comes. Thank you for joining me, for joining us today, for bringing yourself to this space, to this time, to this deepening of presence, this contemplative presence. I believe that the way that we do this and show up now this is how we prepare the way for the Lord, for the light. One thing to mention before I close is that the Lord's Prayer that we pray every week um, from New Zealand, the Anglican Communion uh, and the wider Episcopal Church as part of the Anglican Communion is promoting an Advent series, a webinar called um, Prophetic Indigenous Voices on the Planetary Crisis. There's one webinar for each Sunday in Advent, and this past one uh, was on the indigenous peoples of the South Pacific, including the Maori uh, peoples and um, those who have written that prayer that we read and pray each week. So I encourage you to look that up. We'll have a link um, and to hear those voices, such important voices as we yearn and wait and long and work towards um, the health of our planet and all of us. 
So I'm thankful I offer gratitude for them. And now let me leave us with a closing uh, blessing for the journey. The peace of the living Christ be always with you. Let us go forth bearing God's peace to the world. Thanks be to God. Alleluia. Alleluia. When he comes